Safety first, PP. Oh yeah. I didn't have any poop on them yet. Why did you become such a sissy? Whatever, dude. Later when I'm eating my snacks and they taste like snacks are supposed to taste, and you guys are can eat and have. Well, yeah. Now everybody's so sensitive. We want to finish off the end of that and want to finish off the end of that. All right, I just want to give you guys a quick tip or update here what we're doing this morning with the decoys. Uh, once the sun comes up, I'll give you a better interview. But we hunted this field two days ago, and these birds have moved down in the field with a ton of corn coming out to our west. So we want to give these birds a little different uh, look. They've been hunted by us, and then we saw another group that was hunting just over trying to run traffic on them. So what we're doing today is we're actually making it look like they just landed in family groups. Instead of doing your classic uh, horseshoe or L shape, trying to block them because the wind's going to change from uh, southeast, east, northeast on us today. And with that changing wind, it can be really hard setting up your decoys in the morning. So we're giving them options for every type of wind, leaving holes all around our setup, trying to give them either pass throughs or places that they can land. So um, once we get to the sun up here, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But we're going to finish setting up and get in the blinds. So that worked out pretty good for us. What I was talking about this morning when we were setting up and uh, didn't even have a chance to show you because the birds started flying right away, is we started doing these small family groups today. This is our second time in this field and there was another hunter that hunted uh, just to the west of us in another field running traffic on these geese. So they are definitely getting really smart. And we saw that towards the end when the flocks were coming out, they weren't giving us much of a look. But I think our, our success early was on these, these small family groups, making it look like these geese are just landing into the field and leaving plenty of holes in our spread because we don't have much for wind. Um, we had some geese come from the north and from the south, land in different directions, and that can be really tough if you don't have the wind. So we're able to get in here and get two good hunts out of this field before they started to burn out, and uh, it worked out. So three days in a row, it's been a good weekend. We're gonna try a little pond set tomorrow morning and do a little something different. Thanks for watching. <laughs>